couldn't completely get under it. Braun back to Neil. He's an interesting player, Shannon Neil. And he plays it wide to Stengel, who is right on the edge of his range here and decides to pass instead of having the shot. And Hawkins with a juggler. Third forward, fourth forward even, as Hawkins finds his early season touch to give the Cats the first goal. We saw a little gap and kicked it in there. Off the hands, it comes from Cox. Mackay through centre field. The bounce was accommodating enough for Dersma. Stengel, he's made a very sharp start. 20 goals, 6 in 16 games in year one, but since then, 10 games and 5 games. The kick drops with Langford. That was a set-up kick. Don't worry about that, they... Cats able to get things moving from Clark, but not for long. It bounces back the way of Martin. Now Gresham didn't have time to look at the goals, but it didn't matter. He knew where they were. On the slide, Durham to Setterfield. O'Connor, Parrish. They are lining up. Sardis, maybe an extra step he didn't need or have time to take. Got through to Stringer, though. Left foot kick, instinctive. And the Essendon fans that have made the journey down here at getting a little bit excited about what they're seeing in the front half. And there it again, Parrish. A hot ball for Dersma. He did pretty well, but his kick, as you saw, didn't exactly clear the danger. And Tom Stewart, a relatively rare venture out of the forward 50, is quite a productive one. Like everyone, the old talk is around. Conway's had a big, big pre-season and, and will get opportunity throughout, throughout the year. Parrish in a rush, so couldn't really control the handball as you saw. Myers close. Bruin into the pocket. And Shannon Neal batted away. Corbwell kept his vision ahead. Found Jones. Now Langford running away from goal. Set up from Durham for Nick Martin. It's on target. And there was no fingertips on that. So a couple of quick goals for the Bombers. Setterfield, Aaron Hamble sets the Cats away. Stanley to Dangerfield. He got some treatment, as you saw. Play on. Neil tries to do that. Oh, it was just tackled for just a, a bit too long. Advantage paid and genuinely taken by Holmes. Setterfield, trying to channel it through that middle. To set a half forward. Henry seemed to bully his opponent, but Gresham was able to stand tall, take the mark, and kicks to Langford. Room to lead into for Shannon Neal, kept it at his feet. Atkins was on the same wavelength. Dempsey realising he had to handball to Cameron, who ignored his teammate and tried to kick a goal off the right boot, or was he passing to Tyson Stengel? And kicks the goal. Now Stengel, in the end, turns it back and puts it through off the left boot. Menzi, ahead of the play was Henry. It's blasted towards Stewart versus Langford. So the extra body is Geelong. Although Henry was claimed and not certain he got rid of the football. Now it's holding the man. Advantage. And it was a big one for Jake Gresham. I think the players might have thought the free was going the other way. Everyone really kind of stopped at Gresham. Sardis. Durham. That's what he can do. Hind. Can he pin the point? He can. He's been kicked in the end, isn't it? And then, yes, it's going to come back nicely for Darcy Parrish. Goldstein and Bryan both flying for the same ball. Dersman knew exactly where the call came from, from Parrish. Across to Goldstein, he just forgot to check the rearview mirror. Terribly unlucky for that man there, but we hope it's the best possible and shortest recovery that there can be. But you can see... Surely a team can't get fooled by Tom Hawkins in the rack, can they? <laughs> in the throw-in. Mackay doing it down to Dersma. Straight to the head of Corbell. Manor! Crowd love him already. Back to Tui. Through the circles with real purpose. A bounce and then the give over the top. He's still running. Myers, will he zero in on goal? See will. And who knows, might be again one day. Close. O'Connor, Stengel, doubling back to the square. The kick did not favour him at all. Laverde left it for Stengel. And he does.
put the ball through and gets the locals even more excited. Came out to Myers with a jolt. Back to the square. Close Ooh. a chance to take a bit of a hang at the top of the goal square. Carl Jaden Laverde couldn't do much about that one. What have they been unable to do defensively to stop the, the Cats getting on this scoring roll? Corbwell. Martin. Goes to full forward. Guelphie is the deepest. Well done, Hyde. Run it off the fingertips of Jones. And the left foot snap gives them something for this last quarter. In the OEC or opening round or whatever it's called. Then you can get ready for round one. Yes, up. So a little bit of a break for the Cats and the Bombers. But uh, Geelong getting home in the end. Essendon were the better team for quite a portion of this game.